Just let me drink. Hey there, deputy. What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. For the time being, yes. But you could still be in danger. That's why we need to fill in some blanks. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? If that's true, then someone must have hired them. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Oak Tech ships ain't exactly cheap. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Freestar militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? That sound familiar at all? The first cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it anyway? Hell, it's our only lead. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Normally, I'd praise that kind of dedication, but you need to maintain a sense of perspective here. Our authority and our power comes from the Council of Governors. Remember that. This is your assignment now, Deputy. Work with the other Rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. Just keep your gun holstered during your stay. Sure, Lou. You ask me? Traveling in Free Star Collective Space? You seem all right. Here's my selection.
business quick. I get all kinds in here. Feel free to look around. Please tell me you're here to help, not to try and steal my ship. <laughs> oh, you need my help. Uh, I'd laugh if it didn't hurt so much. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. 
I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. Thanks. I owe you one. Thanks. That should get me home. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. Good hunting. Anything interesting today? All green on release. We're free to fly.
Star Galactic Space. Hold while we scan your ship. All right, we're done. Good to go for landing. I don't want to hear any complaints. Keep an eye on your values. It's great to see you. I was Molly. Oh, see. Excuse me, excuse me. A little desperate here. We'd be dust, except for the fact. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened him up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the Starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't rile him up. I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you, he built. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood. Can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. that I didn't have to. I guess I could offer double shifts. It'll push payroll pretty high, but I think it's a worthwhile trade-off. As for parts, we could try outsourcing. Do a contract with scavengers, maybe, but that's a decision that's gotta be made upstairs. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Virgin. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! Ah. <laughs> uh. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. We certainly could use more of you. Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an... Outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Oh, justice must be done, and the sooner the better. That's the spirit. I want the thief found. 
and prosecute it to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me, what does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every Starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hopetown holds its employees to the very highest standards. Uh, nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <sighs> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. I hope so. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope. There's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, Deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger stationed there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. No problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy.